Welcome to Bhutan e-learning program. This is Subban Rai from the Chinchuling High Second School and today I'll be talking about the two gas laws, the Boyle's law and the Charles law. What will we learn at the end of this lesson? You will be able to state the variables, define Boyle's law, define Charles law and also derive the gas law equation. Now, before we learn about the two gas laws, we have to know what is a variable. Variable is a factor or condition that can be controlled or changed. There are three types of variables, namely independent, dependent, and controlled. Independent variable is the one that is changed during the experiment. Dependent variable is the one that is observed the changes during the experiment and the third one is called as controlled or also known as constant variable constant variable is the one that is kept constant during the experiment there are four variables that is volume pressure temperature and number of moles if you have difficulty remembering these four variables then i have a mnemonics for you that is vp thewang norbu for the two gas laws, we consider only two variables, one as independent and the other one as dependent, while the other two, we keep it as constant. Let's start with the Boyle's law. Okay, imagine I have a balloon here, a fully inflated balloon. Now what happens to its pressure inside if I start decreasing its volume? What happened to its pressure inside. You will notice that the balloon, which was fully inflated inside, had lesser pressure than the one uh, with the fully pressed or squeezed balloon. Okay? So here what we notice is, as we keep the volume more, the pressure of the gas inside is less. But it, as we start decreasing its volume, you will notice that the pressure inside actually increases. So let's fill this table together. Okay. So what was independent variable here? We found out that volume is independent here, independent variable. And because of, of volume, as we started decreasing the volume, the pressure inside increased. And what was kept constant here? We didn't change any temperature. So the constant variable is temperature. Higher the volume, lower the pressure and to lower the volume higher becomes its pressure at constant temperature so here the relationship of a volume and a pressure is inversely proportional at constant temperature so can you define Boyle's law okay so according to Boyle's law the volume of a gas is inversely proportional to its pressure at constant temperature. So according to Boyle's law, the volume of a gas is inversely proportional to its pressure at constant temperature. That is, P is pressure, V is volume, and K is constant. Now let's apply Boyle's law for this situation. Here, in the beginning, let's assume that the volume of this container, the gas inside was one liter. And at one liter, the pressure of the gas was 100 millimeter of mercury. So if we were to apply Boyle's law equation for this situation, it would be P1 V1 is equal to K. Now, let's assume that we decrease its volume to 0 0.5 liter and while we decrease the volume to 0 0.5 liter the pressure became 200 millimeter of mercury so if we were to apply Boyle's law equation for this situation it would be p2 v2 is equal to k so look here for the first situation, it becomes P1, V1 is equal to K. 
And for the second uh, scenario, situation, equation becomes P2, V2 is equal to K. Since both of them are equal to K, we can also write P1, V1 is equal to P2, V2. So this is called as the Boyle's Law Equation. Now let's apply this equation in the following uh, problem. A sample of gas was initially found to be 2 liter at 1.2 atmospheric pressure. How much will it be its volume if the pressure is increased to 2.6 atmospheric pressure at constant temperature? What is given in the question is V1, the initial volume, that is 2 liter. Initial pressure, that is 1.2 atm. We are supposed to find the new volume, but they have given the new pressure, that is 2.6 atm. Now, if we were to apply Boyle's the equation, that is P1, V1 is equal to P2, V2. Now, if we were to substitute these values in the Boyle's law equation, that is P1, V1 is equal to P2, V2, it would be this. So how much do we get the answer? The new volume would be 0 0.92 liter. But this is not enough. You have to reply to the question by writing, therefore, the volume of a gas will be 0 0.92 liter if the pressure is increased to 2.6 atm. So this is Boyle's law. Now we'll be talking about the Charles law. Okay, so what do you conclude from the following picture. During a hot afternoon, you'll find that an empty bottle has bigger volume, but the same empty bottle, if you keep it outside during a cold night, you'll observe that the volume of this empty bottle decreases. What did we change here? What was the independent variable? It was temperature, right? Because during the hot afternoon, the temperature was high. And during the cold night, the temperature was low. So while we changed the temperature, what changed with it? So it was the volume, because during the hot afternoon, the volume of the empty bottle was big. And during the cold night, as the temperature dropped, the volume of air became less. So can you fill this table below by referring the previous illustration? The independent variable was Temperature, dependent variable was volume, and the const what was kept constant was pressure. As uh, temperature rises, the volume also rose. And as you decrease its temperature, the volume also decreased accordingly at constant pressure. So here, what do we find is the relationship of a volume and a temperature of a gas is directly proportional at constant pressure. Now, can you define Charles' law? According to Charles' law, the volume of a gas is directly proportional to its temperature at constant pressure. That is, V is directly proportional to T. If we convert the proportional sign into equal sign, we have to put one constant, that is K. So we find that V divided by T is equal to K. Where, whereby V is volume, T is temperature, and K is gas constant. Let's apply this Charles law for the following. Okay, let's assume that there was a container, the volume of the gas will keep it as V1, and the temperature at that time will keep this as T1. So let's consider the initial volume as V1 and initial temperature as T1. So for this situation, if we were to apply Charles' law, it would be V1 divided by T1 is equal to K. Now let's assume that we increase its temperature. And because of increasing the temperature, the volume also increased as we found out earlier. The equation, the Charles' equation, it would be V2 divided by T2 is equal to k so here what do you find out is in the earlier situation we find out that v1 divided by t1 is equal to k in the later 
V2 divided by T2 is equal to K. Since both of the equation is equal to K, we can also write this as V1 divided by T1 is equal to V2 divided by T2. So this is called as the Charles Law equation. Now let's apply this equation in the following practice problem. A sample of gas measuring 3 liter was kept at 6 degrees Celsius. What will be the volume if we increase the temperature to 15 degrees Celsius? So what is given in the question? V1, that is 3 liter, initial volume. Initial temperature is also given, that is 6 degrees Celsius. Note that in the gas laws, temperature of degrees Celsius always has to be converted into Kelvin. And how do we do that? By just adding 273. What else is given in the question? The final temperature, that is 15 degrees Celsius. And we have to convert this 15 degrees Celsius into Kelvin by adding 273. That becomes 288 Kelvin. And we have to find out the new or the final volume. Now let's substitute these values into the Charles Law equation. That is V1 divided by T1 is equal to V2 divided by T2. What do you find out? The answer is 3.1 liter. But this is not enough. You always have to answer to the question. Therefore, the volume will be 3.1 liter if we increase the temperature to 15 degrees Celsius. Now, let's combine these two laws, the Charles Law and the Boyle's Law. According to Boyle's law, volume is inversely proportional to its pressure. According to Charles' law, volume is directly proportional to temperature. Now, if we combine them, it becomes volume is directly proportional to temperature and inversely proportional to its pressure. If we were to convert this proportional sign into equal sign, we have to use one constant, that is K. V is equal to K times T divided by P. If we isolate the constant K on one side, and if we, if we take all the variables on one side, it becomes PV divided by T is equal to K. So this is a gas law equation. Where P is pressure, V is volume, T is temperature, and K is gas constant. For the initial values, we put 1, that is P1, V1, and T1, which is equal to K. If we were to use this gas law equation for the final values, it would be P2, V2 divided by T2 is equal to K. And since both of them is equal to K, if we combine them, it becomes P1, V1 divided by T1 is equal to P2, V2 divided by T2. So this is called as the combined gas law, or we can simply say the gas law equation. Okay, I have a question for you. A sample of helium measuring 6 liter was kept at a pressure of 1.5 atmospheric pressure. If the pressure is doubled, what would be its new volume? Question number two, why does a perfume bottle which has gas inside, burst when we place them near a hot flame. Okay, so this is the end of this today's lesson. Let's look back at the lesson objectives again. We have learned about state the variables, define Boyle's law, define Charles law, and derivate the gas law equation. I hope you really enjoyed my class. Thank you.